Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Well, I'm doing just kind of a quick uh, little educational kind of video as concerning uh, art and photography. Um, a lot of this goes for art, like painting and drawing and colorings and, and different stuff of that nature. Uh, it's whenever you're trying to bring depth <coughs> to an image. Of course this does uh, go along with photography, but it's something that I notice a lot in art, uh, you know, drawing, paintings, stuff like that. Now this here is a picture I took this morning uh, before I took off on my uh, bus route. And it was real foggy this morning and this picture don't even do it justice. <laughs> you couldn't even see 10 feet in front of you once you got out on the road. But uh, anyway, whenever I looked at this, at this scene out of my bus window, I thought, you know what, I'm going to take a picture of that and do kind of a video on it and discuss something. Uh, it's something kind of interesting. Uh, if you've ever drawn and colored and painted that kind of stuff, <clears throat> and you're trying to uh, show things off in the distance and uh, all the way up to your foreground, you got your background, your middle ground, your foreground, and uh, sometimes trying to show the differences in that can be a little confusing or just unclear. But this picture here demonstrates it quite clearly, uh, even though it's not super clear. <laughs> uh, what we're looking at is this image here, if I can get a, let's do this right here. If you look all the way back here, on the very back, right back here, this is as far back as you can really see <clears throat> uh, in this picture. Now, I don't remember if I could see beyond that uh, this morning. I don't remember. But this is what my little phone captured. So if you look back here where the arrow is, you're going to see that those trees way back there are really dim. Like there's no details in them or anything. It's just kind of a shadow of what they are, right? So let's get rid of that. And then let's look up a little closer. You got this right here. Let me get that right there. Then you got that right there. This little area right here. This next bundle of trees. And the just beyond this one you'll see that it's a little bit darker. Not darker as in you can't see, but darker as in the color it's starting to come out. And you can see just a little bit more detail. <clears throat> because you're coming up just a little bit more from these trees back here in the very back. Then if we go up again to this tree right here, to this line, Okay, so we have this line right here, we have this tree, we have this tree, and this bundle over here. And now notice how they're more in focus, more detailed, uh, clearer of what they are, now that they're a little bit closer. Okay, now let's go all the way up to here, to this little tree right here. Now we've covered a great distance from those trees farthest back that we're seeing. The farthest back that I started with all the way up to here is probably uh, half a mile. Probably. So you notice how dim they are and then the closer you get the more detailed it gets. Until you get to the point of this tree right here which goes along with this tree over here. They're all right here by the road, just right in front of my bus. <clears throat> so if you'll notice, they're in fine detail. You can tell what they are. If it was a good image, you could see details on the trees and you could really, you know, see what you're dealing with. But then the further back you get, it's the less that you see. 
It's not necessarily the darker the image gets, it's the less that you see and the dimmer it becomes, not the darker, because you're seeing less of it. There's a whole depth of field there that you're looking at. You know, you're talking a good half a mile right there. So it's just, uh, it's something I noticed and I wanted to point out that a lot of people, uh, I've seen a lot of art and I've, I've probably tried to do it myself even um, many years ago. When you draw something and color something and paint something, sometimes you forget to add those levels of detail or lack of detail the further away you get. Sometimes we keep them all the same shade. We forget that it changes the closer you get to the focal point, to the main point of view. You know, the closer you get to the, to the camera. And even in a picture that you draw or color paint, there's a point where the eye starts, where the camera starts, where the image starts, and then it goes back. So that's just a little quick something that I wanted to uh, just kind of talk about. And, uh, and that's also relevant uh, when you're doing photography, depth of field. You know, a big depth of field, a shallow depth of field, a wide depth of field, you know, uh, depending on your aperture, and it depends on your, uh, your shutter speed, your ISO, all that stuff has to work together and you have to determine in your picture what it is that you're wanting to focus on and even at that, your background, your farthest background is going to most likely start dimming out less detail. It's going to be less uh, the focal point and more of just uh, maybe an afterthought of where your eyes and your attention might go. So it's just uh, it's kind of an interesting thing uh, to keep in mind uh, whenever you're doing art of any kind to kind of think of that depth of field and the, and the different layers of the picture that you're looking at and uh, to make sure also that you when you take a picture, especially when you when you take a picture, make sure there's a purpose for that picture. You know, otherwise it's just a snapshot, as I mentioned right here. You know, I mentioned here that it's a snapshot. So, um, you know, right here, up here, snapshot, snapshot. <laughs> so, um, when you're when you're doing your art in your photography, make sure that you think of the composition of the photo, which is how the image is going to look once it's painted or drawn or uh, a picture taken of it. Make sure you pay attention to how it's going to look on the finished product and make sure that whatever it is that you're wanting to relay to the audience is captured how it uh, should, should be. You have dark uh, detailed trees in the front and the farther you get the dimmer they get the less you can see they just become they, they become a shadow of themselves okay anyway like I said this is just a quick little uh, live stream I wanted to do I was thinking about it all day I uh, did I took this picture as you can tell early this morning and I, I really just kind of wanted to share that information with you and uh, I hope you enjoy it and appreciate it. And if you have anything to add to the conversation, hey, leave the comments down there. Also, check out my uh, YouTube channels, guys. They are Old Mental Pickle and Old Mental Pickle right there. That's where I live stream video games only, okay? You do that, and then you go and you check out Mikey Sun TV. That's where I do all kind of stuff. Like this right here. This kind of stuff that I do on Mikey Sun TV. Cooking, movie TV discussions, uh, things like this, and other things that you can't even imagine. Alright? Also, check out all my shirts. I have beginnings and ends to all my videos. Uh, and somewhere in there in my videos where you can purchase shirts that I make. And they are uh, a good positive message to get up 
get out, get rad, do it to it. Like, share, subscribe, comment to both my channels. I appreciate you watching. Have an awesome day and be an inspiration to others. See you later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!